Hello friends, this video on reproductive health part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us look at the next contraceptive method that is the barrier method. Now what do we mean by barrier? What is the meaning of barrier? Something which obstructs something else. Like if I place, a suppose you are uh, walking on a road and suddenly a barrier comes in between. So what will happen? You will be interrupted. You were walking but because of the presence of that obstacle, you had to stop. So barrier is nothing but something like obstacle. Now, what happens in barrier methods is that the sperm and the ovum are prevented from meeting physically. Now, we saw that for fusion to take place, fusion between sperm and ovum, they actually have to meet each other physically. So, physical meeting, meeting is very important and that is why we used to talk about gamete transfer. That how the gamete will get transferred from the male body to the female body and etc. Now, in this method, we will somehow stop them from meeting each other. So if they do not meet, there will be no fusion. No fusion means no pregnancy. So that is how it will act as a contraceptive method. So let us suppose if this is the sperm and this is the ovum. So even if they are trying to come towards each other, there will be a barrier in between. And due to the presence of this barrier, they will not be able to fuse. Now, what can be these barriers? And where do we place these barriers? Now, there are many different types of objects which are used as barriers. Now, what are those barriers? Let us look at some of the examples. Some common examples are condoms, diaphragms, cervical caps and vaults. So these are some of the common devices which are used as barriers. So all these barriers, they are, although they do the same job, but they, they look and feel, I mean their structure and how they are inserted, they are all little different. So here if you see we will talk about condoms in little detail in the next slide where we will see that what exactly do they do. But here you can see how they look like. It is like a covering for the uh, external part of the male. It is available also for the females. So in case of males it covers the, it is like a covering for the penis. So that whatever ej ejaculation comes out of the penis that gets collected into this plastic bag instead of getting into the vagina directly. Similarly for the female condoms they have it inserted in their vaginal space so that uh, the sperms which get inserted from the which are ejaculated from the male they cannot enter inside the female reproductive tract. Here you also see some other barriers like diaphragms, cervical caps and vaults. Now all of them are made up of rubber and they are inserted into the female reproductive tract. They can be reused over and again and they block the entry of sperm. So here if you see this is the female reproductive tract right. So this is the place from where you, the penis enters inside. So this is where the penis remains and this is the area where the sperms are ejaculated. But here you have this cap which is the cervical cap and this cap will block the entry of sperms inside. So the sperms will not be able to enter inside. So that is how there can be no fusion and where is the egg? The egg is sitting somewhere in the fallopian tube. So the sperm actually needs to reach here only if the if fusion has to happen. So they are blocked here. That is how it acts as a barrier. Similarly, you have vaults which also if you see here, this is how they look like. And they are also used in a very similar way as cervical cap. They also block the entry of sperms. Now all these uh, small devices like whether you talk about condoms or diaphragms or cervical caps, they can be self-inserted. So no medical um, practitioner's help is needed. You do not really need a doctor or somebody to insert it inside. It can be self-inserted. So that means yeah, it, it gives you that private space. You don't really need to go to somebody and get it inserted. So that way is it is quite simple to use. So let us quickly look at the condoms. These are balloon like elastic covering that tightly fits over the penis in males and vagina and cervix in females because in males the males the secretion comes out of the penis. So if you want to collect the secretion you have to put something as a covering of the penis whereas in case of females the secretion from the male comes into their vaginal space and once it enters through the cervix inside it will be able to reach the fallopian tube so there has to be somebody which blocks its entry after the cervix 
so this is how it looks like this is the male condom and this is how the female condom looks like so they collect ejaculated sperms during intercourse they also prevent transmission of sexually transmitted diseases because if you see even when the penis is incited in, inserted inside the vagina the penis is not coming in direct contact with the vagina because it has got this the covering whether the penis has the covering or the vagina is the covering but there is a barrier between the penis and the vagina so that means the two persons the male and the female they are actually not coming in sexual contact with each other so that means it prevents the transmission of sexually transmitted diseases and that is why the use of condoms have become very common these days because it serves two purposes one is the purpose of contraception the other is the purpose of uh, prevention of sexually transmitted diseases so if you see if this is the penis so this is the condom and this is how it is used as a covering thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material Find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.